Welcome to this video. This is Super Robot Wars 5. Uh, I'm like halfway through the game, so if you're like, hey, this doesn't make any sense, then I'm like, yeah, it's because you're halfway through the game. And if you're like, man, this still doesn't make any sense, I'll be like, yeah, it's, it's confusing to begin with. Tokyo, municipal first junior high school classroom. Well, that was quick. It's already been a week since Shinji transferred it. That's true. So have you met your father yet? No, not yet. Oh, your father sure is a strange one. He has, you transfer here, summons you to Tokyo 3, and then doesn't even try to meet you. You know, his underlings are taking care of me, so it's not really a problem. Fair enough. Anyway, if you have any problems, just let me know. It's our destiny to meet like this after all. Toji, Kinsuke, thank you. Ms. Sato did say that when the time came, she'd take me to see Dad. I wonder what he and the others at Nerve are up to. Oh, Ikari, the teacher said to leave school right away. Excuse me? Apparently a girl is going to meet you at the school entrance, and you're supposed to do what she says. A girl. I wonder if it's Masato. Oh, and Ayam Ayanami wants to go with you. Me? Masato referred to Ayanami as Ray. I wonder if she's associated with Nerve, too. Let's go, Ikari. Uh, Ray. What's that noise? Oh, that's right. That's your first time hearing it. It's the famous Tokyo 3 Disaster Drill Alarm. Disaster 3 Drill Alarm. Although, given that Neo Zeon ignores this place, I have no idea where we're taking refuge from. Curry, I think we better get a move on. Oh, right. She comes all the way to the school just to meet me. What she possibly wants? Scenario 26. Descent from the Heavens. So this is one long, coherent story, believe it or not. Um, but... They kind of introduce characters at a strange pace. Oh, wow. All right, Shinji, now fight. What are you talking about? You're running an Ava now. If you guys date like that, you'll be dead meat. You bring me here. You pretty much force me under this thing. Dad, just what the hell is going on? I've already explained to you. But why me? Why am I the only one who has to ride this Ava? That's your duty. You can't be serious. Shinji, Angel's incoming. The fourth Angel. Is that the fourth one? I guess so. Well, shit. That's the first time that's happened. Usually when these... It's, it's reversed. Usually it's the hero that destroys the... Damage to the head. Extent unknown. Countering difficulties. Maintaining operation. Status. Synchrograph reversed. Pulses are flowing backward. Circuitry cut off. Stop it. It's no use. Signal rejected. Not receiving. What about Shinji? One you're not reacting. No way to tell if he's alive. Unit 01 has gone completely silent. Damn it. The fighting's already started. So those are the so-called angels. According to my father, when the angels reach the heart of Tokyo 3, the second impact will happen again. Well, well it's the one after the second impact, so it's actually the third impact. Jesus Christ, this dude. <laughs> What's the purpose of that purple robot over there? Isn't that the new weapon for protecting Tokyo 3? I think it's been done in, though. Sayaka, boss, let's go. We gotta stop these angels or else Earth is doomed. The Photonic Power Research Institute's met Mazinger, Mazinger Z must have come to help us in response to the Code Angel. Sending Unit 01 right now. Pilot protection is top priority. Forcibly eject the plug. It's no use. It's completely uncontrollable. What? Ava, reactivate. What? There's no way to be able to move. This can't be. It's gone berserk. We've won this one. Oh my god. Even in this game, even in these like diminished graphics. That sound still like sends shivers up my spine. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's so over the top. It's not even its max HP. Uh, Unit 01 is neutralizing Angel's AT field and destroying it. No, it's infiltrating it. How did it do that so easily? What the heck is that? Amazing, one attack and that's all she wrote. Crisis averted, the world is safe again. No, we're not out of the woods yet. Guy. Well, what's going on, Kabuto? They're seeing, seeing us as an enemy. That's ridiculous. We came here to protect. Cut that out. We're on your side. This isn't something you can talk to. Wait. Why is it I can tell that? Everyone, look. What a relief. The Federation Force has just arrived. What are you doing? We're well-intentioned allies. No use. There's no response from that mobile suit. Then they're drones. What? 
There's nobody in that one, I can tell. Koji. It's nice, Koji. We're not in contact with Nerve either. Nerve? A group that intercepts angels and protects this area. Evangelion is apparently their, apparently their weapon against the angels. Evangelions, that's what those things are called. Mobile suit unit. We don't know who or what their objective is. All of you, be sure to stay safe above all else. Roger. Doing this right, Kabuto? It's the only way. We're going to take on both the mobile suits and the Evangelion. Damn it. Our hands full just dealing with Dr. Helm. We're going to fight these guys too. I have no idea who this dude is. Like, no idea. I know his mech looks similar to two other characters. I have no idea what these things are. Did I look at this? There's a way to look. There is a way to check the mech out. I can't remember what it is. There's so many things in this goddamn game. Alright. Well, first off, obviously, we gotta stop this rampaging game of yelling. Yeah, so this is definitely from the same series, obviously. It's... There are two other mechs, the Black Getter and Mazinger's Great Mazinger, I think it's called. Uh, I'm sure they're in the same series. So, yeah, believe it or not, this is a game. So you choose the attack. Um, higher attacks cost more energy or ammo. Uh, have different ranges and stuff like that. Let's try this out. Oh, it's green, which must mean... Which must mean it's, like, neutral. It'll attack anyone. Maybe. I shouldn't go after him. I don't think... See, here's the issue. They'll throw a neutral enemy at you, and then they'll push it closer to you than the enemies. <laughs> here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come this way. Sort of force them to meet each other. I have no idea who these other two mechs are supposed to be. And then we'll see what happens. Actually, what's my objective here? Ava units 01... Ava unit 01's HP falls below 10,000 within 5 turns. That's easy enough. As expected, Berserk is a ranged attack? How does that work? So, I could get hit by this, or there are a couple skills that each pilot has. Go for 30%, command gain, persist, decrease damage taken by 87.5%. We'll do that one. Let's see how this works. I'm not going to hit it at this point, though, so we need to... Well, I don't really have any commands to increase my accuracy. This Venus A can fight those bastards and also save Koji along the way. Here we go. Lori, Loru, Higashi, Oid, Lemme the Power of the Mazinger. I don't know what that means. <laughs> you can also speed up the battles by holding up the circle button, which is what I'm doing now, because we've seen this attack already. Or you can just skip them all together. But... Jesus Christ, it looks so violent. I only did 500. Wow, it only it did 500 with that skill? That thing might have killed me. This game's not really that hard, so the idea that it could kill me in one shot is kind of crazy. I missed. Of course I missed. Did it just attack twice? What? This is unheard of. I'm just going to skip this one. Our attack was repelled. Is it because of that field? Oh, I guess I must have hit that time. If it is, we'll just have to hit it with an attack that exceeds the strength of the field. Yeah, if it can go after the enemies, that'd be great. Um, please? I kind of want to see the Ava go crazy, and not on me. I guess I'm supposed to destroy it, but... We should have reinforcements coming soon. Not yet? Seriously, not yet? Alright, um, I still think the best course of action is to run away. Ooh, let's run so the enemy is in between us. That's the way to do it. You can get a little further, that'd be great. Oh, it can repair itself too, that's good. Some units can repair themselves, not all of them. Okay, I'll put it right next to it so it's got support. Let's see what the Ava does. God damn it, why? Leave me alone. I don't want anything that you're selling, please, sir. This attack is really long, too. Okay, come on. Oh, wait. <laughs> Just realized I let it get destroyed. Ah! I wasn't even thinking, I was just like, oh, it'll be fine. It wasn't fine. I wasn't using my abilities. Oh, makes you do it again, too? Ah, that's actually my first game over. Alright, hold on.
Alright, let's try this again. Only this time I go on the offensive. Alright. So, this stupid fucking looking thing, I think has, it has support attack. So if I get next to it... I can't hit it from here, shit. If I get next to it, then um, it'll support me with a follow-up attack or follow-up defense. So, I'm not gonna actually attack this one here. Mazinger Squad Volley. And it ignores size. I don't think size is an issue. Spirit Command persists. Let's do this. Means I can fight this master today. We got that already. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> I don't know who these other robots are. There's some I've only seen this one one other time, but there's some like team attacks like this where the units with her aren't actually Oh my god. Couldn't even get past the field. Oh no, we did. Where the uh, the units with her are um, are only contained within her, if that makes if, are only with her, if that makes sense. Um, so she, so they they only appear for that attack. It's it's more of like a, we couldn't fit this many characters into the game, so here's a nod to them in this one attack, but that's it. Jesus, Christ, it's so violent. Okay, so we did some damage to it. Um, next, this turn's gonna be rough. I wonder which one it'll target. Why does it? It always goes for the weak link. It knows. The AI in this game. Goddamn. I have to keep using Persist or it will die. Alright, we'll skip that. Our attack was repelled because of the field. Uh, stop. This is the only unit I've ever seen make two. Well, that's not true. It's possible to make your unit do two attacks, but you have to, like,. It's a whole thing. So, but just to be able to do it right off the bat is bullshit, and not at all how this works. Okay. Well, we're alive. Federation forces are not attacking the Evangelion, which is bullshit. Oh no, here we go. Yeah, let's watch this. God, the Evangelion music theme is so good. I hate Evangelion, by the way. <laughs> I wanna make that clear. This is just the first series in this game that I actually like recognized. Like I've I've watched all of Ev Evangelion. I understand this here. I haven't watched one one two two or three three because I'm waiting until the last one comes out. But um, like I actually get the references in the lore. The rest of these I I've never seen any of them before in my life. The next game has um has Code Geass and Gurren Logan and Gurren Logan's really early too. So I'm fucking excited for that. All right, well. Rip that guy. Oh, they're even moving the battleships in. Okay. Yeah, but this game is like super addicting. I can't stop playing it. Um, and it's just like so hype. Okay. So we have rocket punch combination, spirits. We spoke about 10, iron wall, persist, bullseye, so I can increase my accuracy. But then I'll get hit if I do that. Surely the Evangelion won't do that much damage, am I right? So let's, let's do Bullseye. Uh, make sure I hit. The robot was created to save the world. This can't let it sustain... This robot... Oh, this robot was created to save the world. They can't let it sustain any more damage. Hold on there, Evangelion. I'm going to shut you down right here and now. So for those... I guess I'll take time to explain this who don't know the premise here. This is a strategy game that combines robots from all sorts of different Japanese anime and shows and uh, throws them all together in one game with its own original story that sort of like combines the lores but also keeps faithful to them. Like, I, I literally have 20 Gundams with me in my like actual team. This is the, I've only seen this like maybe four times where they have you fight like a battle without your actual units, but so, I'm assuming they're going to be coming soon. My guess is that they won't stay gone for long. Especially given the amount of enemies here, there's no way that they're not like... There's no way that they're not going to bring my mechs here. That's it, a lot of damage actually. Something else is coming, that. Here we go, okay. So, the spaceship Yamato is the, is the like, this one. I know these 
I think this one's from one of the Gundams. I don't know what this one's from. Uh, and I don't know what this one's, one's from either. But we're going to use them. Okay, let's get the, just, let's get the Nabisco B out. Confirm. And then placement. All right, I want one in four. We're going to be closest to the Evangelion, so we should get those down. Uh, so sorry, select. This is the Vang Ray. I don't think I can actually look at them. Oh, you can. Okay. This is the Vang Ray. This is the original uh, robot, the like, main robot, and I've maxed out its stats for the most part. Uh, this is motherfucking Might Gain, who I don't know what show he's from, but I'm in love with it. Because it's basically just like Transformers, but Japanese. I don't know what this is from, but it's, it's black and edgy, and this dude's super edgy. I use them. This one is from an anime about dragons, where mechs fight dragons. There's also a lot of weird sex and, like, gore and shit. And then, this one's from a super old anime. Um, and look at, you just look at how many Gundams there are. This, I've never seen a single Gundam, except Iron-Blooded Orphans, which isn't in this one. Battle Bomber, which looks amazing, which is another one from that other show. Uh, the Zambot. I'm trying to think. I'm just trying to quickly show. Like I said, I have a fuck ton of Gundams. Um, this one was one of the first ones you get. And then along with this one, this dude's supposed to, this is like the very first person you recruit. I don't know if that means anything to anyone. Um, the Black Getter is another one. Okay. Guard Diver. Oh, wait, so, um, what was I going to say? There's, I know these are from Fulminal Panic. A couple of these. They're not very good, so I don't use them that much, but. Alright, so first off, let me remember the placements. So, four? I'm trying to think of how I can get there sooner. One is probably the best. Okay, so. Mang Ray, and then Selena, Vilkus, Gain, Dietarn. I'll get a Murrow Ray out there. Um, and then. I've been using this one Unicorn Gundam, Battle Gundam. We'll use the Arbalest, why not? Full Metal Panic it up in here. Uh, Zambot. Did I get Battle Bomber? Of course I did. Okay. Um, I think I usually go with this one. There we go. Here we go. Oh, I didn't use the Black Getter. I should have done that. That Lana Bell I received a status report from Dark Numi. We'll protect you from here on out. Suppose, this is supposedly about stopping a third impact. Is that purple guy the angel I've been hearing about? That is called Evangelion. They're apparently weapons against the angels. That thing. This, so this is like the original character. This is the character you pick. That thing it looks more like living than a robot. Are you referring to me? Well, just both comers in the deal, just in different ways. Come on, just a little joke to relieve the tension. I'm watching it rampage around, I get the feeling that there's some reason why it's that. Now, we've, now that we've topped the angels, our duty is to stop that Evangelion. What about the mobile suit unit on the periphery? They come at us, we've got no choice but to fight back. See, so yeah, that's Mazinger Z fighting over there. So that's what that is. Koji, look, that's Mazinger over there. Hmm. You hear me, Koji? That bad boy is called the Great Mazinger. Even the name is similar. Great Mazinger. Talk about it later, Judah. For now, I'm gonna stop that Evangelion. There you have it, Koji. Talk to you later. Uh, right. Evangelion. It would be dangerous to let it go free, so we better deal with it here and now. Ally, Koji, or Tetsuya is defeated. Um, SR cannot be acquired and restarting after game over. Oh, fuck. I didn't realize game over is that serious. That sucks. I guess I could reload the save, but we've gone too far. All I have to do is beat the Evangelion below 10,000, which I could probably do right now. So, charge, which makes it so I can attack using any weapon after I move. And then we'll move there. Hazachan impacts turret. Oh, I can't hit it from here. Are you kidding me? It's just out of my range. I'll attack one of these battleships just to flex my muscles. <sighs> if this isn't the most like anime style game in the world, I don't know what is. I don't like that they play this every time, but I can appreciate it. I can also appreciate that they, uh, <laughs> That the theme still plays even after the fight, which is pretty cool because you get to play the different themes from the different uh, shows and whatnot. Okay, he can't attack yet. Monzinger can't attack yet. It's going to be a lot of me moving characters up and not being able to attack. So the game is sadistic like that. 
It likes to put them just out of range. Oh, hold up. Where is she? There we go. Pull these two back. I don't really give a. I don't really care about them, if I'm being honest. I'm not going to use them. I like to use the main characters or the ones I just like the designs of. Um, unfortunately, there's not that many for me. Like, in the next one, I already know I'm going to be using all Code Geass and all Gurren Logan characters because they're hype as fuck. Um, okay. Now, I can probably beat the Evangelion next turn without much issue. Uh, I wish I hadn't gotten that game over. I would have been able to get that special point because it gives you extra money and I think it makes the game harder Which I'm kind of trying for because I don't think the game's hard enough um, Arbalest can move pretty far So yeah, you get a couple battleships you can use which are ships from different shows and then a couple Mobile or like way too many mobile suits They definitely give you too many characters to work with. I wish it was limited to like Eight or ten, something like that. Like they give you fourteen, fifteen sometimes, and they add extra characters. It's not like I don't need to control this many play. I don't need more players than there are enemies. Although based on this map and the amount of enemies they spawn, I'm willing to bet there's going to be some reinforcements coming in. Probably after the Evangelion gets below ten thousand. Uh, I am in trouble. Spirit, uh, Iron Wall, Bullseye, Persist. This is damage. Oh, okay, so Iron Wall... This might be the better one. Iron Wall will stop this damage for the, for both of his attacks, as opposed to just the first one. What's going on? The Mazinger is somehow different today than it was before. No, it must be my imagination. Right now, I've got to focus on the enemy in front of me. I'm actually interesting. I'm interested to know what the other attacks are. Because I think I've only ever seen the Evangelion use, like, one or two attacks. And it's mostly just this, just tearing the shit out of the enemy. Okay. Um, I might die. <laughs> so Japanese. So Japanese it hurts. At least the accuracy went up. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Ugh. I have to heal. Uh, can I? Yes. Okay. Since luckily, since um, since the rest of um, the characters joined, I can use my support skills now, so I can like heal and stuff like that. All right, I'm good. I don't, I don't care anymore. Skip. Okay. Getting attacked by not Evangelion, which is garbage. Instead, good. Stop it! There's a fucking rampaging mech, and you're targeting the one who's getting attacked by it. Bananas. Right. Are you using the Positron cannon again? Yeah, I'm. The Vang Ray is ridiculously overpowered. On counter attacks, I attack before the enemy gets a chance to. Uh, I can attack twice. Give if I'm a high enough level above them. It's ridiculous. The whole thing. Here's the, uh, I think it's called the Black Satsuna or some edgy name like that. I don't know if these mechs mean anything to people. I hope they do. I hope. Because I honestly think these games are pretty fucking crazy. Uh, or at least this one. And I would love to see some localization. This is localized, but, or I should say... It's in English, obviously. Um, I bought it from, uh, Amazon. And it's the first physical game I bought um, for my PS4 because I bought everything digitally. Uh, it's not available on. Uh, I think you have to. It's only available on foreign stores like Singapore or Japanese PSN accounts. Um, but holy shit, are they great! These definitely deserve all the praise in the world. I want. I want these to come to the West, and I want them to include like Transformers and other like American next shows. Let's get Megas XLR in here. Come on. It just seems like such a wasted opportunity. This really Irish music. This is a personal complaint. Whenever I see mechs like these, I never understood why, stood why they have the guns. Like the regular assault rifles. I feel like they've never once been effective. I don't 
don't see the point of that. It seems excessive. Alright, can we just relax on attacking the Mazinger Z, please? Thank you. Okay, there we go. End the turn. End the turn. There we go. What to fuck up an Avangelion? Okay. Um, so, once you get a few kills under your belt, you get different extra action points. You can use two to boost your movement by two. Um, so boost dash for one turn, or one movement I should say. Direct attack, which um, ignores size differences and special things like the AT field, like that thing that Avangelion has. Um, smash hit, which all attacks become critical for one turn. Multi-action, which means if you kill with something that turn, you get to move again. Um, which is the one I use the most. But... Um, yeah, so this stage is going to end when I kill the Evangelion. And normally I'd like to get extra kills, because if, if one of your guys kills a certain amount of enemies, they get bonuses. Um, well, let's just take this one out. Um, well, that's an easy one. Let's take this one out. That's an easy one, too. Oh. Whatever. Yeah, if they get um, if they get kills, I think once you hit it 60 kills, they become an ace pilot, and they get bonuses. And if they hit 80 kills, they become a great ace. Currently, only the might gain is an ace, and the bang ray is a great ace. I'm trying to I'm trying to get more. So <laughs> I'm trying to get more uh, bonuses if I can. I think this one and the black Setsuna are the closest to um to ace, so I'm excited. <laughs> this is so excessive. This plays every time you use this attack, though. Like, I get it, and I'm glad you can skip them, because I normally do, and it is hype. God damn, is it hype. But, a little much. Like most mech anime, a little much. Okay, let's have the Vilkis. The Vilkis! Finish this off. Wink. Okay. And then uh, this one probably attack here. Can distortion attack this thing. Kill that off. I think the Black Selena. I don't know how many kills they have. They have 54. I need six more, and then it'll become uh, the next one. Okay. Let's send Might Gain up because I need everyone to understand the glory that is Might Gain. Spirit Command, we'll go with Intuition, so what it does is it makes your accuracy 100% and you will dodge the attack. Um, he can't do anything because he heals. I'm going to do Force C, which um, Commander Okita can get to him. So now they won't hit me. So this is the difference between, like, gritty mech shows like Gundam and ridiculous, happy-go-lucky, um, villain of the week type shows that have, like, that have, like, the big colorful mechs fight. And I love the, I love the meeting of them. I love the idea of, like, a Saturday morning cartoon mech attacking a fucking Evangelion. We've seen this part. Alright, let's get the last attack with the Vang Ray. Gotta get close enough first. Oh, hold on. Let's do. Let's make sure we get a critical. So, smash hit. Damn. I love the, I love the saxophone solo after a, a character met series attacks. So oh, I went too close. Hold on. The ranges can get annoying. I'm glad they let you like take back your moves, unlike XCOM, or a lot of this stuff would be really annoying. Um, okay, well, I'll take the hit straight on. I'm definitely gonna kill him this turn. I think, maybe. I don't think there's enough missiles here, by the way. And when you're thinking, wow, that's a load of missiles, not even close, not even done. This is my strongest attack right now. I don't think it's his last attack. 
That's the other thing too, is some of the characters gain more attacks as the story progresses, which I think is really cool. Like, they get their own power-ups. Fuck yeah. I'm probably gonna kill it by accident. I don't- I hope I'm allowed to kill it. Oh wow, that's the biggest hit I've taken on the Van Rain in a long time. Luckily I have a second attack. Hey, surely this trick will work twice, right? This is very much a trick. Where they back up into a box of missiles. Oh snap, do you see that? The black and white fade away? <sighs> Beautiful. Did we do it? Not yet. Oh no, there's somebody over there. He's coming this way, Kensuke. We need to get out of here, Toji. Easier said than done, Kensuke. We should have done the smart thing and avoided this rather than trying to look like superheroes. Damn. Guys, get out there now. Yes, sir. Ah, even the Mazinger can't stop the thing. What the hell are you doing? Hurry up and smash that bastard. I, I can't. Koji, there's a person inside that Evangelion. What? A confirmation on that here too. Life forms reaction. Life form reactions are registering. We don't stop it now. I'm going for it. I just need to take away its ability to fight. Whoa, Mazinger, let me get your power. Here we go. I'm gonna drive it back with everything I've got. Didn't even give me a cutscene. All movement of Unit 01 has been stopped. Did it exceed its damage threshold in the attack by the Mazinger Z? Enough talking. Take it into custody before it's too late. You did it, Kawato. That, that Mazinger was something, I guess. Mm. Careful, something's coming our way. Reinforcements? Or not even. It was the dragons. I knew that was too easy. Dragons. Damn wizards, you followed us all the way here. And the dragons also got flung here in the fight on Mars? Never mind that. The problem is that they're here to fight. And you're right, they're clearly positioned to attack. You have no choice but to fight. Bring it, you heard it? Those ones are the AD dimension dragons. You can't talk to those things. They come at us, we've got to fight back. All hands, attack the dragons. We can't let those hostile creatures go free. Out of the frying pan into the fire. Never a dull moment in this world, eh? See if you're complaining for later, unless of course you want to be chewed up and spit out in this place. Defeat all enemies. That is not what this was originally. Oh my god, I knew there'd be reinforcements. I didn't think there would be this many. Oh, and the Vang Ray is already attacked, and so is Might Gain. Damn it. I am not in good shape here. I attack with all my best guys. Um, but yeah, you know what? I'm gonna leave it there. That was a little teaser for you, in case you're wondering how Super Robot Wars Z plays. There's also a fuck ton of dialogue before and after each match, but I try to cut that out. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I'd love to do a full playthrough. The problem is it's long, like really long, so even if I streamed it, it would be like 20 parts. Um, that being said, it's a lot of fun, and I'm addicted to it. And the story is not bad. Convoluted, but it, of course it's going to be when you're combining this many series, but it's not bad. Uh, lots of fanfare, lots of good tactical stuff. Um, I don't know how this battle's gonna end for me. Usually, I'll just have Vang Ray and Might Gain or whoever, like my strongest units, just like take all the brunt of the attacks, but they're kind of positioned badly right now, so. If you'd like to see more of this, let me know. I think, um, I have the sequel too. So, I think I might show off some of the Gurren Logan stuff and maybe the Code Geass stuff when I get to it in that game. Uh, just to, you know, give the glimpses of how they're treated in this game. So, thank you, and I uh, hope to see you soon.